I love the story you tell about the uh, how the pipe bang, uh, thing, the bagpipe thing, got into uh, yeah, long way to the top. Yeah, <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Well, it's a great idea. It's it, 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 we recorded that that song, uh, long way to the top, and that was um, pretty much you know how we would record. We, we Malcolm, Malcolm was got this groove going, and and the Joyce said, oh, "Listen, you know, wait a minute, you know." Got the tape going, and it would basically come out of a you know like a jam that we did, and um, George you know overnight sort of worked on it and did a fair bit of editing because George is you know like amazing. He'd be in front of the the tape machine cutting bits out and like a tailor around here and putting that back in there, and uh, he, he basically you know, did a did a job on that and, and put it together because you'll you'll note. Um, even with the guitar, from the guitar intro to how the guitar is at the end, it's very, very, very different. It, but it, it flows, it works well, and it works well because of George, he's just, you know, that's where it is. So anyway, um, George suggested the need for something in the middle, he said, suggested bagpipes. And Bond said, great, you know, I used to play in a pipe band. Oh, did that, fantastic. So Bond said, I'll be back. So he went down to a music shop down the road in Park Street, you know, bagpipes are us, well, I don't know what it was called. <laughs> and uh, I went and put this set of hardy pipes. And was, I even remember they were $479, which was like back in those days, you know, um, yeah, it got a, a normal Joe Schmo was probably picking up 100 bucks a week. Mm. So, and a Fender yeah. Strat and a Gibson Les Paul were like 300. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, you would probably you would, you would have got two Strats, yeah. For, for the, so, there you go. So, he's got this this box, hey, I've got the pipes. Okay, now if you want a good laugh, man, you get three Scotsmen together <laughs> around trying to put a set of bagpipes together. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it was, like, it was like a Scottish Scottish Rubik's cube, <laughs> was, and they're swearing and oh man, uh, that's, and they'd say, George said that to mine, said, listen, yeah, yeah, you used to play in a pipe band, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, what's going on? He said, yeah, well, yeah, he played a pipe band. I was a drummer, <laughs> so that was it. Oh man, so we, we end up getting the pipes together. We end up getting it to we recorded. We got the got the, the drones. We were blowing those individually in a tape looped, and then one got the chanter because he used to play flute or, or recorder and stuff. Oh, and yes, I remember him in that fraternity. fraternity. Yeah, yeah, you play, you play the recorder. So he, he, he got, got the notes out, and um, we made a tape loop, and then at the start of it, there's a, you know, we hold on to the tape, let it go, so it was just. <laughs> you know. So it's, it's all George, it's, it's George's stuff, you know. It came a bit of a hassle when we were working live because we'd have to tune up to the. The drone. <laughs> so they did, uh, Paul, uh, Paul uh, Ralph, Ralph, the front of the house guy, if he, he, we had the cassette player, went back, say, tune up to the drone, out the front, put the drone, okay, hit the drone now for this, and bond it at the channel, and, oh man. So, in essence, it, it sort of it cruelled us from playing the song much live. And, you know, from my memory, I, I would say um, we probably played the song live maybe 30 times most. And the band's never played it since then. So it's such a, it's, a, it's it's such a, an odd thing. It's 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 converse because it's such an iconic ACDC song. Right? If you say to people, particularly in Australia, name an ACDC song, it's also a long way to the top. Yeah. But the band probably only, you know, I may be out a few times, but I would say 30 times would be the maximum we played it on stage. And the band's, I'm sure, the band's never played it since. So yeah, you don't see it in the live DVD. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. think so. So, um, yeah, so it's probably the most famous song of the band. In fact, I've heard a couple of bootlegs of it, uh, and we're playing it. It's almost like a Chuck Berry thing. It's really fast, and it's quite different from the recording. You know? Mm. But, uh, yeah, so that, that's, that's strange. It's never really sort of been in the live set much at all. Mm. But, but then you, it's there, you know? It's very Bond, isn't it? Yeah.